Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Everything and everyone is replaceable. That you ride the train, alhamdulillah, you get to your destination. But the train always moves. Allah is not in need of, of anyone. That we are in need of Allah and to seek Allah's satisfaction. Our life is about how to seek Allah's satisfaction that Allah to be pleased with us. That Prophet's nazar to be upon us. And they teach in this day and in this pandemic, and this pandemic is not stopping. The pandemic of ignorance and sickness and the real contamination is insan. He is the sickest of these creatures. You saw when insan went into their homes, the animals were free. They came out free, they weren't dying. Who's the sick one? Is insan. That Allah give a reminder for us, go into your home. And as a result of going into the home it's a reminder for us that work on ourselves, fix ourselves, build our relationship with Allah and His beloved Rasul Sayyidina Muhammad and live a life of service. The greatest service there is now is the spreading of knowledge. The spreading of knowledge one, the one whom hears it is eternally being dressed by it. Imam Ali said, if you learn one letter you owe that person your life. Because one haqqaiq that came, not even just a haqqaiq, one letter that somebody taught to you is an eternal dress upon your soul. Imagine if it's a reality that that soul now has an eternal dress. With their qalam, with their speech they changed your entire destiny with their knowledges. That the whole understanding of your soul changed by that reality. It drinks from a completely different fountain. You may not see it if you are very material but if you are spiritual you understand that I was drinking from one reality. As soon as they spoke and they taught me, my soul is drinking from their reality. And they achieved their reality through their blood, sweat and tears. And most of all of what Allah has written and destined for them. So then that knowledge is an eternal gift upon the soul. Spreading that knowledge is spreading that reality to people, is spreading a kawthar reality to people that drink from this and be dressed eternally from its realities. That reality and those knowledges are the greatest weapon against devils, not to hit them with a stick and hit people. What are you going to do with the person after you hit them? They're not going to listen, they're not going to learn, they're not going to have, be of any benefit on this earth. So they teach with love and muhabbat these realities. <coughs> they dress that person, break down all the ignorance of that person and their light and their knowledges begin to enter into the heart. As a result Allah is pleased with that servant and those servants that sought the knowledge and they begin to live a life of propagating those knowledges. We need a reason for Allah to save us from difficulty now more than ever. That Ya Rabbi please if you see any benefit in our dawah then support us, keep away every difficulty and yansurukullahu nasran aziza. That I'm going to give you an opening and a tremendous opening. This is a very clear opening. I'm going to forgive all your past sins and all your future sins in a fatan, like a fatan mubeen. <laughs> who's fatan mubeen? Who, who's the clear opening? We're reciting it always in our zikr. 
that only Allah are reminding for us that we're asking from Holy Qur'an, Ya Rabbi give us the clear victory. Who's the clear victory? Is the satisfaction of Sayyidina Muhammad إِنَّ فَثَانَكَ فَتَمُوا بِنَا لِيَغْفِرُكَ اللَّهُ مَا تَقَدَّمْ ذَنْبِكَ وَتَأَخَرْ I'm going to cleanse and forgive your qadam, your footstep, all your sins. Why? Because I'm going to bring you to my beloved. How I'm going to bring someone dirty to the beloved? This is the, this is the immense reality of this relationship, this love that Allah has for Sayyidina Muhammad If we understood that secret, we'd understand the fastest way of cleaning. Allah cleaned me for myself for what? Uh, let me wait till the grave, I'll deal with you then. I'm busy right now. But what Allah reminding is if you are seeking the clear victory the Imam al mubin Kitab al mubin the clear victory of Allah if you're seeking my Sayyidina Muhammad oh what I'm going to do for you. Not because of you but because of His Holiness If you're going to be on a path of that love, I'm going to clean everything off of you. I'm going to clean all your past sins and no doubt you're going to have many future sins. I'm going to put you on Siratul Mustaqeem and one of the names of Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Siratul Mustaqeem. Firaqum wa dhanbika da'a inna fatanaka fatah mubina liyakfiraka Allahumma taqaddam wa dhanbika ta'akhar wa yutama nihmatu alayka fi Siratul Mustaqeeman wa yansuruk Allahu nasran azizah. And I'm going to support you with a tremendous report. From Sifat al-Aziz, Allah which is the mightiest attribute of Allah Sifat al-Aziz is that nothing will stop what I want to send to you that will obliterate everything in its way. That if Allah should put His stamp of Al-Aziz upon something he's sending to you, everything will be obliterated in its path and it will arrive directly where Allah wants it. It's not something small, Ya Allahu Nasran Aziza that Ya Rabbi we took this path for a clear opening into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and the word of your Holy Qur'an beyond anything we can imagine of truth, clean my past and clean my future because on this path no doubt shaitan is coming after me, try to dirty me, try to make me to be into something bad. That's why don't look to the actions of people because Allah is supporting them, will clean them, wash them and then give them yansurukullahu nasran aziz. That if anyone should oppose them Allah will utterly obliterate them. from the smallest one to the largest one. So then imagine joining that caravan, do you compare that to anything you're doing? I want to sit at home, I want to find myself and I want to read a book occasionally and maybe Allah will be happy with me. No, join the caravan of barakah, join these caravans of knowledge. Give from what Allah has given to you. If your ability, your skills, whatever Allah has given to you, bring them for we're in a battle with shaitan and it's just beginning. That azan that went off in Turkey is not something that people understand. That whole region is under Damascus and it's considered Sham al-Sharif, the greater Sham al-Sharif. And for whatever difficulty Allah is now putting upon this earth and for the arrival of Imam Mahdi that azan was a Mahdiyun azan. 
Anyone who goes back and plays that azan of the initial Friday azan, it was for Imam Mahdi mm. and should bring your heart to tears. That the whole world will come against it and what it symbolized for that region and what about to open into those areas is something they can't imagine and of course they should be very scared and very sad, they should be crying day and night that why that azan was called. But for those whom believe and their belief is correct, they're waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi These are the isharats and signs from Allah that what about to happen on this earth there has to be a king and a sultan to lead the people. And Allah cooling their azan, the khalifat of the Islamic empire never left the Ottomans. Whatever Allah wrote as a destiny for the people who took down the Ottoman Sultanate or think they took it down, they took down a physical but Allah placed the spiritual king into that region. And the spiritual king holds that position and that reality and that was Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani held the spiritual authority for the Ottoman nation, the head of the Muhammadan nation. It was taken from the Arabs and was given to the Turkish people because of their love and their ihtiram and their respect for Sayyidina Muhammad and it was never lost. It was held as a trust by Sultan al-Awliya. That azan and that calling and the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad is quickly opening upon the earth. The 41st shaykh of the Naqshbandi order is Muhammad Adil, he's on the silsila of the Naqshbandi tariqah and he holds the trust of Sayyidina Mahdi to bring all, all tariqahs must take his hand and their hand will be on, on the hand of Sayyidina Mahdi on the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad and above them all, Yansurukullahu Nasran Aziza. This region of Turkey, they are the qazis and the warriors of Islam. Their madad and their support is essential for everything that coming upon this earth. We pray that Allah send their madad, send their support, that their rida and satisfaction to be just. Give us a life in which to see the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi and to spread that love and to spread that reality. These cannons that they are shooting are of knowledges. These knowledges that come out like a laser cannon that hit the walls of homes, of cities, of towns and of the chest of humanity. And the soul that knows the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad the soul doesn't have to be taught. The soul witnessed the king, witnessed the kingdom, witnessed the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and the soul has been begging that hit the body and the oppression that this body has put upon us. So when these haqqaiq come and hit it shatters the physicality and the ignorance of what shaitan has put upon insan. These are days that need tremendous support. These are days in which we're all begging for the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad then what do you think then for those whom propagating that reality and on the front lines of fighting shayateen? You may deem their work as small but then describe something more significant and you can count them on a finger or two who are propagating these realities. We're not talking about talking about wudu, we're talking about the reality of wudu and the Muhammadiyya haqqaiq of wudu. That's not something understood on this earth. 
it's a heavenly knowledge coming because they're firing weapons from heaven. They're not using rocks, they're not using stones, they're not using sticks. These are weapons that when they fire them go straight through the body and into the soul and illuminate the soul and dispel the darkness and the lies of shaitan. We pray that Allah give more and more of that authority, Ameen. more and more of that support Ameen. and that these, these precious souls of Allah of what they established of Islam, what they established in their way and in their faith and in their belief, their madad to reach to us, Ameen, ya their nazar to be reaching upon us, that they pray for us and support us, make every difficulty to be low and every goodness to reach to us. For Ya Rabbi why you gave them that if they're not going to help? It's time now that they help Ya Rabbi, that their nazar helping to reach us inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.